Nero was a really complex artist, in my opinion. He um, started out in surrealism and minimalism, even though some of his more whimsical and um, so-called simplistic work might be like that. Um, and he was also a very kind of gentle, very aware man. He um, liked printmaking a lot. He liked his collaborative nature. He used the medium creatively rather than just to create multiples of something. Um, Miro collaborated with Hayter in Paris and then years later he was commissioned to make this mural in Cincinnati. When they were building this hotel, they really wanted to, it to be a modern project, and Miro really kind of um, exemplified that. In his work, he wasn't afraid of overly simplistic forms. He wasn't afraid of trying new things. So in some ways, he always looked at something within his world, like stars or a flower or a mountain. Um, and these took these really kind of beautiful, engaging forms. However, Miro was also very intelligent, so he did not want to spend six months painting in Cincinnati, so he said, I need to be in New York. And he uh, got in touch with Stanley William Hayter, with whom he had worked in Paris. Hayter is also an interesting man, and he had founded this atelier, Atelier 17 in Paris, and he was teaching people printmaking. And after, when the war broke out, he came to New York and he re-established the atelier. And we were really interested in this really productive time that the two had with other artists from in their world in New York, just trying to find new frontiers in printmaking.